Hello! I'm going to show you how I've darned my socks using this scotch darning technique. I'm using a wooden darning mushroom, you just put the sock over the top and you can secure it in place with a hairband. We'll start by anchoring the yarn, uh, we don't tie a knot in the end because you'll be walking over this afterwards, and I'm going to use a, a back stitch. I'll be splitting the previous stitch as I go to make sure it's anchored in place. So just going through the wool just there. And then I will use a running stitch um, going extending beyond the area to be darned, whether it's a hole or as I have here with the, the mesh still intact, this technique will work for either, either instance and it's just a running stitch now from here from right to left and make sure your stitches lay nice and flat and then I will show you the scotch darning stitch these socks are merino wool and I'm using a wool blend Aran to darn with I would only bother to, to darn good quality socks, it's not really worth it on, on cheap socks. Now your first row, the needle goes under the running stitch that you've just done. We're going to stitch from right to left now and you're holding the tail off to the left. The needle comes under the running stitch and passes over the top of the tail there. It's almost a kind of blanket stitch that you're doing and you're just going underneath that first row of running stitches and we're creating these looped stitches all the way from right to left. Just going underneath that first row and then going over the tail. We do a little stitch at the end to anchor and move up to the next row. Now we'll be going from what was left to right and we just hold the tail to the side as your new stitch passes over the top. I'm catching the, uh, the loops that were created in the first row go all the way along to the end, just go under and then over the top of the tail and again anchor and move up ready for the next row and we just carry on again, this is from, from right to left and just make sure that your stitches, you don't pull them too tight, you don't want it to buckle up until you run out of yarn and to start a new length of yarn I'm just going to hide the tail, pass the yarn through some of the previous stitches and just snip it off again, no knots. You just want to anchor the tail of the yarn um, passing through the middle of some previous stitches just so it doesn't shift. Be careful not to pull it all the way through. Do a little anchor, anchor stitch and we're ready to go again. And you just continue in the same way, going left to right and right to left. And then at the very end I do a running stitch again just to anchor the tail, make sure it can't unravel and I'll just bury it through the middle. sure it's all nice and flat. Okay and it's quite a quite a chunky yarn I've used but I've worn these socks now many times and they're perfectly comfortable to walk on. And there we go it just gives you some more life in your socks until you get some new ones. <laughs> Thanks for watching.